Today we're going to be talking about the low limit fuse protections that are common on most large air handler units. These devices work very well in keeping the coils from freezing and busting due to cold outside air. There are two different types. There are the type that will automatically reset and then there are those that are require a manual reset. I highly recommend using those that require a manual reset because of the fact that you actually have someone get their hands on a unit to make sure that nothing else is at fault. You will generally look in close proximity to the coil on each of the units. As you can see here, these Freestat safeties, as they're commonly known, are located directly on the coil. They feature a manual reset on each one of them. Each of these devices are wired in series. That way, if one of the devices opens up because of a low temperature, then it will shut the unit down and keep it from, hopefully, freezing a coil. To reset these, you should simply need to press the manual reset on this particular type. Once the manual reset is pressed, the unit should restart normal operation. It is common for these devices to be tied in with the safety circuit or the start circuit to keep the air handler from starting when they do trip. By shutting the air handler down and opening the hot water valve when one of these trips you will help to ensure that the coil does not freeze. Another component is that you will want to make sure that the outside air dampers for your unit shut down as well whenever one of those safeties trips. This will also help to keep the unit from freezing a coil. Another type of safety commonly found on large air handler systems is the high pressure the safety, safety circuits can be very vital in maintaining the equipment safe operation. The high pressure safety is basically a bladder in here that reads off of pressure. When the air pressure inside the ductwork exceeds a safe operating pressure, this device is set to a limit similar to a circuit breaker, only we're using pressure, to where the air will simply cause the device to open a set of contacts and shut the unit down. This device features a manual safety reset. You want someone to get up and get their hands on this just in case there is a problem to ensure that no ductwork is blown apart or if there are any other issues with the unit. The low pressure safety circuit works very similar to the high pressure safety circuit. It is actually the same device. Instead of it going into the rear port, which is for pressure for the high pressure side, it is actually going into the opposite port where if the vacuum inside the return ductwork exceeds its safe operating level, it will open up causing the entire system to shut down as well. These devices are very simple to install. It's just a simple set of contacts that will go directly in your start circuit or your safety circuit and prevent the unit from starting. I also recommend, depending on the type of control that you use, to open the hot water valve to allow as much hot water flow as possible through the coil if one of these devices does actually trip as well as close down the outside air damper to keep that coil from freezing. We want to get as much heat into that coil as possible without moving air across it to help keep it from freezing. It's a, an uneasy feeling to come into a mechanical room and find water all over the floor because of a busted coil. Hope this helps and thanks for watching the video.